Hey yo, what is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. I know it has been a while since I picked up the camera. Finally in Jersey, hanging out with Lance. I got in at about 1.30 last night, so super late. Ended up passing out, woke up this morning, shot a couple videos for Lance's TikTok. And now we're getting ready to head off to this place. I guess it's like an Amazon grocery store. Now what I mean by that is you take your cart and then as you're adding the items into your cart, your real life shopping cart, it scans the items for you and automatically adds them to your bill. So I think that'll be pretty interesting to check out. But before we get into the video today, I did record some footage back in Florida. So I'm gonna play that for you guys real quick. I don't know if you guys heard what I said, but I said it's been a while since I've done a cold start. I do apologize though. It looks like the lens ended up fogging up a little bit. Super hot out in Florida today. And of course I had the AC cranking on the inside of the house. So I do apologize for that, but it's been so long since I've done a cold start in the Hellcat because I really just have not been leaving the house. I think it's been almost an entire week and a half since I've left the house. The weather down here in Florida, it's still raining. If you guys live in Florida, you know it's hurricane season and it's pretty bad this year. It rains almost every single day. I also do have the radials on the Hellcat right now, so when it does end up raining, I'm forced to stay in the house. I can't do anything, but today it's looking like a beautiful day, so I'm like, you know what? I got to get out of the house. I got to get some vlog content for you guys and just enjoy the outside. See some grass. Get a little bit of vitamin D. I will say, though, that, you know, being stuck in the house does have its pros uh, and its cons. One of the pros is I've definitely been saving a lot of money by not leaving the house. Like a lot of money. So that's one of the pros, obviously. The cons is like no vlogs for you guys because there's not really content for me to get when I can't leave the house. But just know that when I'm not posting YouTube videos, I am streaming every single day over on Twitch. If you guys haven't been able to tune into a stream yet, give it a shot. Click the link right in the top of the description. It's literally free to make an account. It's free to follow and it's free to enjoy the streams. But with that being said, man, uh, you know, one thing that I haven't done in a very very long time is get my lines wet i haven't been fishing in i would say a month almost a month it's been a while so i'm gonna get out do a little bit of fishing this evening having kind of a late start to the day though because my sleeping schedule is absolutely I didn't go to bed until 10 a.m. today and I woke up at 4 p.m. Right now it's 4.45. I woke up and I was like, yo, I gotta get out of the house. The weather's actually nice. Even though they were calling for rain today, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain at this current moment in time. I started a new TV show. You guys know how I get when I binge watch new TV shows. I'm up all night. I started watching Lucifer. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's actually a really, really good show. I'm almost done with the whole first season in one night. And now that that just came out, I think I have a problem. I, I think I might have a serious problem. Anyways, let's get out today. Let's do some fishing, take the Hellcat for a spin. It's literally just been sitting in the garage, not doing anything. So it'll be nice to get out, do a little drive today and do a little bit of fishing for you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a good week so far. If not, hopefully this vlog will just make it a little bit better for you guys. And there we go. We got our first catch of the day. Nice little large mouth. Caught them on a whopper plopper, which I'm surprised they're hitting top water this early in the evening, but definitely not a bad fish for the first catch of the day. First catch in the month, actually. So I was about to try the other side of this canal, uh, unfortunately. The weeds are pretty bad over on this side and I don't have any top water that'll go through here i don't have any frogs or anything like that we're gonna head off check out another spot well i said that it was supposed to rain it didn't look like it was going to but do have this nice little storm cloud that just decided to move in well it was nice to get out of the house for about an hour before it decided it was going to start raining as i mentioned i have the radials on right now so i definitely don't want to get stuck out in the rain with those on but back home to the puppers yeah back home to the puppers oh you good girl Oh, you good girl. Since the last time you've seen, Harley got groomed. <laughs> Ended up dyeing her tail pink to match her pink little bow. And she looks so cute. You look so cute with your pink little tail. Yeah, you do. It was really nice to just finally get out of the house and enjoy a little bit of the weather while it lasted. Hopefully hurricane season doesn't last too much longer because I don't know how much more I can deal with the rain. I'm just hoping that it stops soon. I can't wait for like the wintertime beautiful weather. It's gonna be like 70 degrees, absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for it. If you guys saw on the last vlog, I think it was either the last one or maybe two vlogs ago, I'm having an issue with my trunk opening. You guys know I just went fishing. I went to go get my pole, get my backpack, and forgot that my trunk does not open. So I'm gonna jump on my computer really quick and see if I can order the part that I need. I'm just hoping it's not gonna be too expensive to fix. Okay, so 
Trunk actuators are a lot more expensive than I thought they were. To get a brand new one from Advanced Auto Parts, it's like 130 bucks. Now I do have a bumper to bumper warranty on the Hellcat, but the whole thing with that is Perkins service department is booked out for weeks. And if I were to drop the Hellcat off, who knows when I get it back. It, it's not that crazy of something that I just couldn't do myself. So I hit up Carl who works at Perkins and I was like, yo, can you see if you can give me this actuator? You know, use your little employee discount or whatever. So he's gonna hit me up tomorrow, see how much it'll cost. If if not, I'll probably just end up buying it from Advanced Auto Parts. I can get a used one from eBay for like 45 bucks, which isn't too bad at all. But buying something used like that, you just run into the issue of, you know, does it actually work? Is it broken? Why are they getting rid of it? So I'm just gonna wait for Carl to hit me up and let me know how much he can get it through the dealership for. Also, I don't think I told you guys this, but September is gonna be a pretty exciting month. I can't wait for the 12th and the 13th. So the 12th, I'm gonna be dropping off the Hellcat to get it wrapped. Not only that, on the 13th, I'm gonna be heading up to Jersey for 10 days to hang out with Lance. So you know what that means. You guys will get some vlog content. We're going to be doing a lot of live streams over on Twitch. Once again, make sure you guys follow me. I successfully completed the one task that I needed to do today. I noticed that the weather, it said it wasn't calling for rain. So I'm like, yo, this is the perfect opportunity. I need to get up to the shop, take off the drag radials, throw my street tires back on. And honestly, I think I made it just in time. I got stuck in a bunch of traffic, but luckily the rain held out. So I made a promise to myself and that promise is I'm taking off the radials today. We're putting the street tires on and those are staying on until hurricane season is over. These are gonna be sitting for a little while. And I'm sure most of you guys have probably already seen it by now, but Lance and ended up taking off the wrap that was on his Lambo before and then got it re-wrapped chrome blue. It looks sick. It reminds me a lot of the Audi that he used to have though, but it does look a little bit more sleeker. One thing I will say about this car is in person, I don't know if you guys can tell over the videos, but this car looks like an RC car, like a little remote controlled car. It looks sick. And now speaking of wraps, the day before I left for New Jersey, I dropped the Hellcat off. So the Hellcat is currently getting wrapped right now. Also gonna be getting the calipers wrapped as well, changing the color of those. So hopefully everything will be done by the time I get back to Florida on like the 23rd. Alrighty, so here we are. After about an hour drive, we just pulled up to the Amazon Fresh store. There's like nobody in the parking lot. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon right now. Super windy, so I do apologize, but looks pretty dope. I think these are the carts right here that you use. You gotta like scan the QR code, sign in. I got some paper bags in here. You scan the QR code and then this is what pops up here. So you just go through, add to the cart, listen for the beep, and then tab add an item if you're getting like vegetables or anything like that that to add then let's go shopping so basically those white lights up at the front are what scans it i'm assuming i will say though this shopping cart weighs like 100 pounds it's a pretty heavy shopping cart so for example we got some nature valley granola here so if you take it add it into the cart it pops up on here nature valley oats and then if you decide that you don't want something you take it out item removed from cart that's pretty sick so i've already gone through added quite a few groceries you can see right here it tells you at the bottom i have 15 items and i've already spent 62 dollars one downside i will say is the cart is kind of small probably because i'm using the paper bags that were in here but overall even still the carts are a little small so you can't fit too much in here but i just need to go through and grab a few more things i'm not going crazy because i'm only here for a little bit of time just getting some of the necessities that I need. As I mentioned about the carts being small, Lynch just went to go get another one. I basically got everything that I need for my stay here. I know it doesn't look like much. 27 items and it's going to be $126 total. Not too bad. I feel like the pricing is similar to every other grocery store. I'm just kind of bougie and get like the name brand foods. I probably could have saved some money if I didn't, but it's not too bad. So in the time it took me to go through the whole grocery store and get everything that I need, Lance is literally only on the second aisle. I hate grocery shopping with this kid because he literally just stares at everything in every single aisle trying to figure out what to get. Yeah, I hate I'm grocery so shopping with you. I hate it. So going through, I added a, a few more items. And then basically to check out, all you do is you take your cart and you just walk through this green area. Almost done. Calculating total, 147. Remove your bags to complete your payment. So it's about 150 bucks on groceries. The so last night after we got home from Amazon, ended up putting all the groceries away, chilled for a little bit. And then last night I decided I wanted to stream. I brought my keyboard with me. I brought my mouse with me. I went to go turn on Lance's Alienware PC. Now, I don't know if you guys know much about Alienware PCs, like they're pre-built, but they're kind of dog. 
They have like a bunch of cooling issues. Just overall, not a really good pre-built PC. I went to go turn it on and there was a critical error. The fans inside the PC were malfunctioning. I think they're just burnt out. So today we're gonna be taking a nice little hour drive. We're gonna be heading to Micro Center to get some new fans for his PC. I've also been planning on wanting to build a PC for the longest time. And now that we're close to a Micro Center, we're gonna pick up all the parts that I need to build the PC today. And I don't know if 212's got the vid over here, but uh, he's uh, feeling a little sick today. <laughs> Yeah, lovely. Not only that, he also been in his pants all morning, so this is gonna be a nice little drive, nice little hour drive. I had like 3,000 calories worth of dessert last night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. You ate like 7,000 calories yesterday. Easy. That's crazy. Yummy. Yummy, my tummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna be driving with biohazard mode on the whole way, because you smell like we made it over to Micro Center. This place is huge. Definitely looks a lot different than the other Micro Center that I've been to out in California. So we're waiting for someone to come out and give us a hand. Basically everything that I'm gonna need for my PCs here. We got motherboards, a bunch of RAM over here on the other side of this wall with the monitors. There's a bunch of graphics cards. I basically know everything that I want at this current moment in time for the PC build. So I went through the list and had everything already picked out of what I was gonna use to build my PC. What's nice about Micro center is some of the prices were actually even cheaper and the stuff that wasn't cheaper they were able to price match so i'm saving a ton of money just by coming here and buying all the parts right here in this one spot once i get everything back to the house i'll go through and explain to you guys everything that i got all the parts that i got my graphics card cpu all that stuff and we'll get this pc built but before we do that lance got a standing desk from secret labs that i have to go through and help him set up because you yes, guys sir. know lance is incapable of putting anything together by himself not true i just don't want to that thing's heavy not so true need, listen i need someone else for sure because like julia's not gonna lift that thing with me yeah you sound like shit, dude. i do bro I'm i sick. really hope you don't get me sick uh, you might get sick i hope not all the kissing we did last night oh yeah true yeah Right now he's going into the back to grab like my graphics card. I am dropping a mini bag, mini bag on this PC, but I've been wanting a new PC for years now. So I'm super excited to get everything that I need and then get this built. All right, so we got our car full of shit. Finally leaving Micro Center. Definitely put a nice little dent into the bank account, but I'm super excited to get this built, get everything set up. I will say if I were to build this PC a year ago, a year and a half ago, it probably would have been double the price of what I paid right now. So yesterday after we ended up getting back from Micro Center, I really didn't pick up the camera at all. I was super busy helping Lance organize and swap out a desk in his upstairs setup, as well as swapping out his desk and doing some cable management down here in his other office. Now, I didn't show you guys what this looked like before, but this entire area right here was a disaster. There was cords everywhere, absolute fire hazards. So we set up his old secret lab desk, went through, organized all the cables and everything. So this is all set up. I also spent four and a half hours last night over on Twitch building my PC. So if you guys would like to see the full live stream of me building the PC, you guys can head over to my Twitch, but we do have everything built and set up today. I'm gonna be bringing that computer downstairs, setting it up on this setup. I gotta go through and still do BIOS and Windows 11, but I'll basically end up having my entire own gaming setup while I'm here. So this is the PC I ended up building. This is a Corsair 4000X RGB case. I'm gonna power it on right now for you guys so you can see what the inside looks like, and then I'll go over some more of the specs. As you guys can see, we have a ton of RGB. We have the EVGA G GE Force RTX 3090 as a graphics card. We have an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X as a CPU. Corsair Vengeance, 32 gigs of RAM. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Wow. You're gross. Bro, you, should probably, you should probably go wipe your ass. It's a good thing I can't <laughs> breathe or smell anything right now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty wild. This is the PC build. I will put a full list of specs down in the description if you guys want some more info on that. Also, as I mentioned, I did do the full PC build over on my Twitch, so you guys can head over there and watch that whole stream if you want to. How many terabytes do you have? Both H hard drive disk and side. No HDD. Yeah, I don't need HDD. Okay. Um, and then, because I have an M.2 SSD, yeah. it's one terabyte. Okay. Which is, you know, it's, it's more than enough for yeah. me. It's more than, because after like, with my horror games and stuff like that, after I play a game once, I just delete it. True. The only games that I keep on there are like Call of Duty, Escape from Tarkov, and, 
and that's it. But the PC is sick, man. I do wanna get a little bit more RGB. I wanna try getting some better uh, VGA cables as well, and I need to get a stand to help the uh, GPU sag. It's not sagging too much, but it is sagging a little bit. So I ended up having another available slot in the back of my PC for another fan. There's five fans in there currently, which is definitely enough, but I decided to swing over to Best Buy and pick up another RGB fan to throw in the back of that. While we were out picking up the fan, Lance, Julia, and I all ordered the new iPhone that just came today, so we're about to unbox that, and I am gonna get everything switched over. I can't remember if I showed you guys in the vlog or not, but like two days before I pre-ordered the iPhone, Harley knocked it out of my hands and just completely shattered the back of my phone. So I was getting like pieces of the glass in my fingers. I put tape on there to try helping it out. It's kind of just been a mess. So while I was going through and getting everything transferred over to my new phone, I decided to hook up that RGB fan that I just bought. So that's what that is right there in the back of the PC. A little bit more RGB in there. Not only that, but it's also going to help keep the PC even cooler. So last night was a super long night for me. I didn't end up going to sleep until 7 o'clock this morning. You guys know I just built my new PC. You scratching at the door? You got to go outside? Here, come on. You got to go outside? Go potty. Good girl. <laughs> you guys know I just built my PC. I did the first stream on it yesterday, had no problems at all. And oh my God, is it 10 times better than the current PC that I game on? It's amazing. I'm getting so much better FPS in all the games that I play. Not only that, obviously the graphics look better as well. So I'm running into a dilemma and that's how am I gonna get my PC to Florida? When I bought all the parts, I'm like, you know what? I'll just ship it to Florida. But as I keep getting into it, I keep getting worried that, you know, something's gonna end up breaking or something's gonna get damaged and it was stressful me out. So I was like, okay, how else could I get this PC to Florida? Well, one, I could rent a car and drive, but don't really want to drive. So I was like, maybe I can bring it with me on the plane. So I was doing a little bit of research. I did find some cases that I can use to bring the PC on the plane with me and put it in the overhead compartment. Obviously, every airline is different with what they allow for carry-ons. So I'm probably going to end up having to call the airline and make sure that I can do that. I did already order the bag, which regardless, I think is worth it because it's a really good PC carrying case. So I'm probably going to end up calling the airlines Monday and see if they'll allow this. Maybe what I could do is buy like an extra seat so that way I can buy two carry-ons instead of only one and maybe they'll let that slide. I don't know if any of you guys have ever traveled with a desktop PC before like on a plane or anything. Do me a favor and let me know. I definitely do not want to check it though and have it go underneath the plane because those people that handle the bags are always just tossing them around and throwing them around and I know my PC would definitely end up breaking. I also just spent like the last two hours going through and getting everything set up for probably what is going to be one of the worst ideas Lance and I has ever had. So basically tonight over on Lance's YouTube channel at 1030 Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing a sleep stream. If you guys have ever tuned into any of the sleep streams we've done in the past, you guys know they are brutal. We never actually end up getting any sleep at all. So basically what we do, we go live, we try getting some sleep. We have like a bunch of scare alerts set up so you guys can play loud sounds through the speakers, wake us up. It is definitely going to be a long night especially considering I didn't get any sleep last night. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys have all my notifications on so that way when I post, you guys get updated and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.